Okay, let's run through how to uh, rip a DVD. Right, you need those two bits of software that I em emailed you the links for. There's Handbrake and VLC. What we'll do is I'll just run you through installing them. Um, first thing you need to do, open up VLC. There we go. What you need to do is copy the VLC to your applications directory. You can see there's a shortcut to it on the left, so what you can do is just pick it up, drag it into applications and it will copy. Okay. Now, um, depending on how your users are set up, you probably have to authenticate as an admin user. Um, I'm just going to do that. There we go, you can see it copying into the applications at the top there, the image. Okay, so that's VLC done. Um, now let's do handbrake. So do the same on handbrake. Open up the image. There we go. Now you need to copy handbrake into your applications folder. You'll see in this one there's no shortcut to applications. So what you can do is open another finder window. All right, select applications on the left, and then just drag handbrake into it. Now again, um, you'll have have to authenticate. So enter your admin username and password. There we go, and it will copy across. So it doesn't take too long at all. Great, OK, well you can close Finder down now and get rid of Handbrake. Now I've already put a DVD in my drive, it's that one there, it's Charm, it's one of my diving DVDs. What I'll do is I'll just show you how to rip that, I'll just get rid of those images. OK, fire up Handbrake, um, you can find it in your applications or you can just use um, Spotlight. Alright, I haven't indexed it yet, so find it in applications, handbrake, there we go. So open handbrake, there we go, it'll ask you for your um, where your DVD is, so I'm going to select my DVD, which is Charm, there we go, so all I need to do is just select it on the left, don't worry about the folders, and then just click open. What it does now is it will go through and analyse the DVD and just see what chapters and whatever are on there. Okay, so it's done that. Um, this video of mine is not very long, it's only 25 minutes, um, so it should be relatively quick. So what you do is you need to select which title you're going to uh, rip. Generally if it's a movie DVD, go for the longest one. Um, you need to select where you want to store it. Okay. Um, Leave it as an MP4 file if you're going to be putting it into uh, iTunes. Okay. Um, and the only other thing you need to worry about really is, is the quality. I tend to find if you leave it on average bitrate, which is the default, um, it'll generally work. Okay. So once it's done all that, all you need to do is just go up to the start button at the top. So hit start. All right. Now that will go off and it will start uh, ripping that DVD for you. And it will take a little while, it will tell you down the bottom how long it's going to take. About 25 minutes. Anyway, we'll come back to this when it's finished. Right, eventually you'll see this message pop up saying the handbrake queue's done. That basically means your recording's done. So what I'll do now is I'll just show you how to get that file into iTunes. So what you can do, click on OK, um, just close down handbrake. OK. Fire up iTunes, I'll just pop it onto that side of the screen, and also fire up Finder so we can find the file. Now I put mine on my data drive, so if I look on there, you'll see that there's my file, Sean February 2010. Now that'll be whatever the movie is that um, you've just ripped. So what you need to do is just pick that file up and just drag it across to your iTunes library, just drop it on. Um, you should see at the top that it should start copying it into iTunes. take a few minutes depending on how big the file is. There we go. And what you should find is it's under your movies. So click on movies and you should see the file that you've just ripped. 
and then obviously you can double click on it and play it. Now that format that it um, brings it in, um, let me just stop that. Okay, it'll work on your Apple TV and everything, but I don't think it'll work on your iPods or your iPhone. Um, I'll double check and see what format you need to do it. But anyway, that that's how you rip it in. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward, really.